Hello, my name is Gay Rogers, and I'm here to tell you today about Hamo Farm. I'm a third generation Ayrshire breeder. My great uncle, Reed Hayes, my dad, John Rogers, and now me, and the Plum Bottom herd that my father started is now at Hamo. And so it's a small herd of Ayrshire cows. They are great grazers, and so the whole farm is grass. I mean, I have some cows in the herd that are over 10 years old, and I have at least six who have milked over 100,000 pounds of milk in their lifetime. In addition to the herd, there are other animals at the farm, and the other animals are at the farm because there's another enterprise um, that happens during the summer. The barn doors just open a little bit wider, and we welcome girls ages 8 to 14 to the farm. 30 of them come for a two-week session, and I have three two-week sessions throughout the summer. While the girls are there, we do chores. Every morning, the girls do a rotation of chores, feeding the calves their morning bottles. They also feed the sheep, the goats, the pigs, and gather the eggs, take care of the chickens, clean the barn, and then there's another group that actually does a little bit of dishwashing every morning. This is farm camp, and so the girls come from major metropolitan areas. It is an empowerment thing, and that's part of our mission statement, to empower young girls. In addition to the chores in the morning, activities in the afternoon are a little more traditional camp. We sometimes go hiking, biking. There's feed bag fashion. Uh, I mean, I have a stack of old feed bags that are gathered throughout the year, and so then the girls make dresses and hats and come to dinner dressed up. The ultimate goal for these girls is that the last day of the session, we have a farm show. And so there's a judge that comes in that they have never seen. And throughout the two weeks that they're at the farm, they work with an animal of their choosing, a calf or a heifer, a goat, a sheep, or a pig. And then the last day, there's a farm show, a lot of Kodak moments, and the girls go home on a high note. In addition to the camp, I work with a local artist. Susan Nicholas Gephardt is from Belfont, Pennsylvania, and she hosts an artist retreat on the farm. So artists come and they set up their easels all around the farm, paint the cows, paint the views, paint the vistas. I worked for a while away from the area. Uh, I worked in Washington, D.C., and I came back to the area when the program that I was working for ended. So I was out and I was driving tractor, taking care of animals, milking, and you know, as you drive along on a tractor, you think, why was it I wanted to leave? This place is beautiful. And these people are, these people are my family. And so that's what brought me back and that's what keeps me here. <laughs>